Hello viewers, so we're just on the track bed of the former Hull and Barnsley Railway. This was the cutting that went off towards Great Heck. Behind us just over there is the M62 that runs between Hull and Manchester. And this way is back to Carlton. We're going to carry on now down this way because there's a canal and there used to be a crossing over the canal and we're going to see if there's any remains of it. Let's go. Hey viewers, so we're in the village of Great Heck now and the Hull and Barnsley Railway used to cross just here. That is one of the old parapets of a bridge. The other side is now a domestic property which I won't film. But strangely, this bridge power pit is up for sale. I've not seen that before. But this was Hull and Barnsley Railways, bridge number 115, this says. Still in good condition, the sandstone capping is still present. Look around here. Now the uh, top bricks that we've seen previously they're starting to show signs of decay now but they're still present and affixed but in the grass there we've got some bricks that have fallen down over the years when they've removed the bridge this was part of the line that closed in 1959 was closed the track was lifted in 1962. There we are, great heck. We'll have a look to see if we can find any relics of the railway up on this embankment. If the weather's okay in sort of 10 or so minutes we'll get the drone up as well. So that way back to Carlton and the M62. This way is great heck. Over there is the canal, where there used to be a railway bridge. Let's just uh, power our way through this and get on the track bed. Badge is set there, so we'll not disturb that. So this is the track bed that we're now on. So if we carried on through the brambles, we'd get to that bridge parapet. And this way. See, at the time of filming, because we film in advance, uh, it's 30th of October today, so the day before Halloween. Um, so the, the brambles and the overgrowth from summer He's starting to reduce now. Just coming over here, so I can see some old wood here. Could this be part of an old boundary fence? In fact, it is. This is old Hull and Barnsley boundary fencing that we've seen before. See the three cutouts here. So that is an old boundary par boundary marker post. got more boundary markers here the later British Rail concrete ones just piled up there Uh, Paul's just found a fish plate. The fish plates are what connected two pieces of track together, is that correct Paul? That's correct, yes. That's just here. And these look like the British Rail boundary markers. Concrete ones that they started putting in. So I've got the remains of the track there. Discarded fish plate along here. There are several, several pieces actually of boundary fencing, all just discarded at the side. If we go a little further, 
that's to get back on the track bed because the bramble sort of reduced for some reason. Let's just get ourselves on here. So just over there is Thomas Armstrong uh, concrete blocks. And this is what they call a cinder track because the, the cinders left. And that is the trap bed going towards Great Heck and then further on to the canal and then up this way back to Carlton, the River Air, Drax and then off towards Hull. Yeah, and the brambles just get thicker and thicker now as we get further into the bushes. So we just found here, this is one of the later Hull and Barnsley and then British Railways boundary markers. These were what replaced the wooden ones. And then just here, we've got the corner piece because then there was the bridge over at Great Heck. I'm going to go down there now and uh, have a look at the bridge parapet. Just, just here. See the sandstone top in there. There we are. Lombardsley Bridge 115. Just noticed along the top there is the fence that British Railways put in when the railway closed and the track was lifted. So it looks like this bridge has been missing for a long time. Um, behind me it's completely replaced with a house, a modern house. But you can see at the top there, again, where maintenance has been carried out, those bricks are newer. They are not the same age as the 1885 bricks that they are accompanied by and here we've got the cast fall pipe like we saw at Beverly and Ripplingham Road coming down this is what remains of the Hull and Barnsley Railway at Great Heck Hey viewers, so we're now down at the canal and this is where the crossing used to be going over to, that's that way's Stairfoot this way back to Great Heck and we're going to look at the brick parapets of what is left of this area of the Hull and Barnsley Railway looks like we can get up onto the uh, trap bed which is great news and this is where the bridge crossed this canal over there. What's that railway really bridge in the distance, Andy? I think that's the York main line from Doncaster to York. Views, is that the main line from Doncaster to York? I think it is. And if it is, it should be electrified. I'm sure I can see overhead wires. Basically, pentagrams, can't you? Yeah. Sadly, Great Heck was the scene of a tragic railway accident. Just in front of me there, that is the East Coast Main Line that goes between Doncaster and Selby. And as you can see here, this is the memorial to the 10 men that lost their lives. Here, sadly, on the 28th of February 2001, uh, I can remember the Sea King helicopters flying past my house because it woke me up in the morning and I used to work on aircraft carriers that had Sea Kings on them and I woke up at about 7am on that day and I could hear Sea Kings and you know when you start waking up and I thought I was at sea on an aircraft carrier but it was the Sea Kings that were operating from here taking people to Hull Royal Infirmary and back then the there was a freightliner, a coal train going to Ferrybridge Power Station heading this way and that collided with a car that had come off the M62 and the freightliner train was then struck by a GNER service that was travelling this way. That GNER service I believe had set off from Newcastle and it was a Class 91 and most of the cars from the Class 91 ended up in this field. There was... Uh, the driver of both trains were killed 
and eight other men lost their lives as well, leaving behind uh, six widowed wives and 13 children without fathers. And that was on the 28th of February 2001. Uh, it's not the intention of this video to uh, go deeply into this tragedy. It's just that it happened here and it's where we are filming. So I thought it was certainly worthy of note to pay respects to the 10 people that lost their lives uh, here. So back to the Hull and Barnsley Railway. Rest in peace to all those killed and involved and sad things like that. Condolences to the families. Back to the Hull and Barnsley Railway. This is the bridge parapet crossing the canal. We're going to try and get on that side as well and try and film around there. But for now, we're going to have a look at this bridge parapet. very thorny this side again the brickwork is in good condition we're not getting any issues from it there you know degradation wise it's the bricks are in good condition the mortars in good condition if the railway was still open I don't think this bridge would be causing too much problems so this must be bridge 116 so behind here, strangely, it's all been dug out as if somebody needed the land. But if we climb up here, we'll get up to the... So this was the track bed level here. And up here to the bridge parapet. You can see the sandstone top in there. And then the bricks. The 1885 bricks going across here and then the railway went across there. So we'll go back down the what now is the decline down to where the track bed has been excavated for some reason. Not quite sure why. I think it's because they've built residential properties behind it now. Yes, that's correct. Is that correct? Yes. So this has been dug away and just the the brick work left behind. I haven't seen um, I haven't seen a, a marking on this, you know, the HBR slash three and then the number, bridge number. There was something on that fence there, I don't know if that's related to the railway bridge in question. Because all it says is just three numbers. That'll be related to the canal. That'll be a distance marker on the canal, I think. Please correct me if I'm wrong, viewers. Answers in the comments box. Yeah, this is the remains of the the parapet. Just put my lights on really in the dark bits. There we are, look. It's all, it's all brambly that way, so we'll go back out this way. I'll pass the camera to Paul in a moment. Can you take him round and just show him that parapet? This canal is the Air and Calder Navigation, all part of the UK Inlands Waterways. Right viewers, so we're going to go. We're going to go to that side now. See if we can get to that side and we'll show you what is left of the trap bed. Over there going towards Kirk's Meeton and on towards Stairfoot. Hey viewers, so we're just at the uh, south side of the canal now and that's the parapet we've just been at, the bridge parapet there. We're just going to go look at this parapet up here, but we've just noticed that is styled in the Hull and Barnsley Railway. And the only reason that is there is because of the railway, which is covering a drain. So that is Hull and Barnsley Railway Engineering, right there. The drain the railway covers on this side is the New Fleet Drain South. I hope you're enjoying this series. If you are, please press that subscribe button if you haven't already. Because uh, it really helps me out when you do that. It's totally free. So, 
just in here looks a bit prickly but we're gonna get to it here's the bridge parapet so it must have been quite a substantial bridge coming across here which would have been 116 I believe so that's 116 bridges since full Here we are again, so the engineering state of this is not too bad, I mean that's just surface, but the actual structure is pretty solid and in good condition. What are your thoughts Paul? Very good condition, we're going up. Yeah we'll go up, um, well, the best way to get up is, yeah we'll go up on the embankment, got an old brick there. That is the same as what was in Druton's tunnel. Same style. We'll just see down here, on the top of this drain, these are the same rounded top bricks that we've seen throughout this series as laid by the Hull and Barnsley navvies. That looks quite steep, but let's go for it. So this is the Former trap bed, so that way is back to Great Heck. This way towards Kirk's Meeton and on towards Stairfoot. Looks like an old boat there. Must have been expecting rain. Now, this is the top of the oops, brambles. That hurt. <laughs> This is the top of the little tunnel we came through. Little bridge. Ooh, we've so. Already, so brambly. So we've just come through this this bridge. It's um, surprisingly still intact because we've just passed a couple more bridges that have been taken down. The brickwork is looking a bit suspect up there over the railway and we can still see some of the raw iron work going over and the Hull and Barnsley we'll have a look at this at the bottom as well again Hull and Barnsley and the iron works in great condition totally solid look at the brickwork it's fascinating how it sweeps across Amazing work by the navvies back then. And it's in wonderful condition. That is one of the large bricks. That, yeah, the, the topping bricks that we've seen across this series. It's fell off from up there. You can see the start of the decay now, where it's cracking. The structure is starting to get broken up by trees that are growing through it and breaking it up with the power of nature, pushing the bricks apart with the roots. There's some big pieces there, aren't they? Yes, yeah, big parts of sandstone that have fallen off. Slip down. Yeah, just slip down with time. There's another one down there. Yeah. Now we are viewers. These bricks are massive. For those compared to the size of my hand. Topping this little bridge. I haven't got up in bank a minute yet. Hello. So this is the of that bridge we were just looking at just down there Paul can you see and viewers at home at yeah some old Hull and Barnsley ironmongery so that is affixed to this stone here and that is real Hull and Barnsley ironmongery left behind oh that's full top here isn't it oh god it has that used to be there yeah and it's fell off and slipped <laughs> so it's come off from there where Paul is 
and slipped down here. Slid all by itself and that tree's caught it. I'm Andy from ALW Research Team. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already because it really helps me out when you do that. And I'll see you every Thursday at 4pm UK time with a new video. Occasionally I'll drop a video at 11am on a Sunday but they're just bonus videos. Main video Thursday 4pm UK time. Bye for now. Looking over my shoulder. Looking back at your door.